Hi, my name is Caroline and I'm a hobbyist seamstress and um, today I'm going to make a history bounding outfit um, that's pictured right here. So history bounding is when you take something like a historical garment and then you kind of modernize it for everyday wear. Is that, that's what, how I see it. So um, that's what I'm doing here. Um, Morgan Donner, I think came up with the history bounding thing or something I don't know so the top is inspired by this um, 1890s um, pattern that I found in the passion patterns of fashion book um, 2 and I'm using it because I already made a pattern for my Victorian um, vampire dress and I just like wanted to make something really easy fast just for fun <laughs> so that's why I ended up making this so um this pattern right here is my from my mock-up from that like Victorian um vampire outfit and I have those other videos too if you guys are interested in watching so um that's where I have this pattern from so I am just taking it straight from there and these this is pretty with minimal um changes to the pattern to fashion actually when I made the mock-up so and for the lining I'm using this orange um, cotton now when I made this I had just seen that movie the Joker and I was like wow this would have been a perfect costume if I just used this orange for like the weight a waistcoat and then I have because it kind of turns out to look like a sooty thing and this is the colors that Joker wears <laughs> which I thought would be funny but anyway uh, maybe next year for Halloween I'll be that. But so here I am, just um, you know, sewing together the shell and the lining, and I'm just like following the darts that I um, patterned, and I just patterned them by using some chalk. So going ahead, just sewing down the darts on each side, and then I'm gonna sew each of it together to create like the shell and the inner lining. So. The fabric I used um, is not like cotton or anything, the red, it was like a poly something, I burned it to see what it was because a lot of the times I'll go to the like um, discount bin of this fabric store and sometimes I'll find like really good uh, finds but this time no, so uh, I made all of this, maybe there was like three yards there, eh, maybe less, it wasn't that much actually, um, so. So I'm just taking the lining that I made um, and the uh, shell and I'm ironing it out. Um, so I just ironed the shell and, like after I added both sides and put the darts in and now I'm like closing the um, top so like it's kind of like a little vest now. Now I'm moving on to the sleeves, and I always do the sleeves with way because otherwise it's very confusing. I just lay them down on the floor like this to make sure that there's a right and a left. Um, so, and then I just sew down um, the ends. And this is again from the Patterns of Fashion sleeve. And I do it for the lining and the outside shell. So those are the sleeves. And then I just attach them. So here it is. Um, this is just the shell. I haven't like attached the lining yet, but it looks pretty good so far. I like it and it fits. So, um, I think it looks nice. So now I'm just going to attach the lining and how I do that is I, um, just sew where the neckline is. I sew it together right side on right side and then I'll just flip it and then iron it down. And that's how I do it. And now I'm just folding in the inner part of the jacket so I can um, add the buttons. So that's what I'm gonna do. 
I had some trouble actually with this because um I didn't it didn't match up perfectly at the end at the end and at the end I had to like sort of adjust the neckline with it I mean I think I need to like practice like this kind of thing like jacket closures so that's something I need to work on but um anyway so I just hand um you know whip stitched it down to the lining so you don't even see the stitches all the way down now I wanted to finish the end the bottom of the jacket so I um put some bias tape on the end and just closed off and I found some problems with this um later on because it kind of went out like I didn't film this because I noticed this later but it went out you know it didn't like go flush to my skin on my waist which is what I wanted because it was designed for more like a 1800s skirt so what I did was I just ended up you know folding in a few parts and making a few darts at the end but um anyway so um then I'm doing a sleeve and I'm just adjusting the length of the sleeve it was I made it a little too long because the pattern I was doing was based off a different design and then I added bias tape to the end of the sleeves and I finished off the sleeves that way. It's really easy to finish things with bias tape. That's why I like doing it. <laughs> um, sorry about the construction noises. There's some construction going on. Um, anyway, so here's the finished bias tape. Um, edge, it looks really nice. So, um, you know, sometimes I have problems with the lining lying right in the side. I don't know. I need to practice that. Um, so here is the jacket that's pretty much done. I just need to add the buttons. So I'm going to add the buttons um, down the front. And I, I added the buttons using a machine. Next I moved on to the skirt. And how I did this was I made a... It's basically based on a 18th century skirt. Just like an underskirt. And I used the Patterns and Fashion 1 book for this. It's basically just a... Um, pleated skirt so I'm just adding like where the pleats should be right here um basically what you do for these skirts is it's just like a big box of fabric like you don't really cut any pieces out it's just you're pleating for the shape so I pleated the whole thing and I, I pleated it all around so like the side was open because I wanted to add like a placket to make it a little more modern instead of like the ties you know normally be like the ties in the back the ties in the front I wanted to be a little more modern, so I added the so I wanted to add a placket. So here I've done all the pleating, and um, I added some bias tape on the top to just finish it, you know. So now, um, see it in the front, it's like like an eighteenth century skirt. It's like flat. So now I'm going to add the placket. So how I did this was based on um like a victorian skirt and then i just um basically based on the victorian skirt pattern and passion pattern two that i followed for the top um but it just works like a regular pocket so i'm just you know making little pockets out of some extra material and then I'm sewing them down one side is gonna go over top and then the other side is gonna go under I didn't like film everything about the packet because I don't know I, I want to just try and see like make some videos that weren't so in-depth for some people who wanted that I'm not really sure like how in-depth I should make everything so um, you know I'm gonna I'll, I'll link in below a more detailed placket on how to put a placket in. So anyway, the placket goes right there, and then I just sewed it in with the sewing machine. And now I'm going to add, you can see it's like closed, and I, you know, closed down the that seam too. <clears throat> I'm not sure how to finish a seam of a placket. Maybe someone can comment or like a link or something. How to finish a seam for a placket um, on a skirt, like finish the seam um, when you add the placket. I'm not exactly sure how, but um, anyway, if someone has a tutorial for that or something, it oh, would be great. So anyway, um, what I did 
was now I'm adding the closures. So I added like two on the side of the pocket and then I added one like inside the pocket just because I wanted it to be like really secure. It actually turned out to be like a little bigger than I wanted, but it was like okay and I didn't want to like take out the bias tape, blah, blah, blah. So um, I just made do with it, but it looked nice in the end. So you can see the finishing of the um, pocket. <clears throat> and then now I, um, okay, so here is the done placket. You can see how this is the back of the dress and it just, you know, opens up just like that. So yeah, I like it hanging over my head or whatever. So if it's well, now I'm going to move on to the, um, here you can see the front of the skirt and everything, so. So now I'm moving on to the hem. And I wanted it to be knee length. So I just, um, you know, measured up how many inches, whatever, three inches or whatever I wanted this hem. And I just whip stitched it down. So that's how it looks. Um, it is a little thicker than I wanted, but I think it works, so. I mean, it does look like a Victorian, you know, finish to it. So, it's sort of a mismatch between a Victorian um, and a 17th century outfit. But I was watching, I was looking at some clips from Far From the Manning Crowd, and it looks very similar to one of those dresses that she wore in the new artistic one. So here it is. I added some black buttons all the way down. Um, and I also had to change just the neckline a little bit. I added some bias tape on top because I had to cut a little bit off because I messed up when I did the closure. I I'm not sure like what I'm messing up when I cut out the pattern. So I'm going to have to like figure out that with the, with actual making things. Um, and then here is the back and you can see I just added two darts in the back, um, because it just didn't, it was like going out. It wasn't like flush to my body and when I tried it on it just didn't look right because you know it didn't have like a huge skirt underneath to like fill it out so um, I did that just to make it a little you know more modern and you know look a little nicer so <laughs> yeah so I think it looks nice um, I'm happy with it and then here are some pictures of me. I went around with my sister and she took some pictures of me um, in the outfit. I think it looks cute with the black. And I had I added these like sparkle fishnets, but you can't really even tell, but it looked really cool um, with it. <laughs> and um, I went in the subway and I was taking these pictures and like random people were like looking at us and like taking pictures of us like a terrible model like I don't really know what to do yet because I've never really taken pictures so I need to like figure out I'm, like studying some like Instagram models I'm like what do they do like you know so um yeah I need to figure that out because I'm not really like a modeler of clothes so so here it is buttoned up and then here's a nice picture I, I mean I took hundreds of pictures like my sister took so many pictures and like these are like the best ones probably like five good ones of like this huge amount so anyway um thank you so much for watching um i hope you enjoyed it if you enjoyed it in any way and it was helpful to you please subscribe and consider leaving a comment and consider um supporting me on my patreon thank you so much